We are on the roof of the Keck Laboratories at Caltech in Pasadena, California. Uh, it is uh, 2.40 p.m. Uh, on June 13th. It's a sunny day in California. We see here a solar panel which is collecting incident uh, sunlight and converting it uh, into electrical energy. We're using the electrical energy uh, to drive an electrolytic system that's based on semiconductor electrodes coupled uh, with stainless steel cathodes. The semiconductor material uh, provides the anode uh, and the stainless steel, the cathode. We are in this particular system splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen and perhaps you can see the bubbles that are emanating off the surface of the electrodes as we show here. This system is at a pilot plant scale and now we are viewing it from the side where we can see the electrode array and the stream of gas bubbles. The gas is primarily hydrogen and secondarily oxygen. We have a non-stoichiometric production ratio of approximately 8 to 1 hydrogen to oxygen. We can see that the panel is producing a voltage of approximately 2.6 volts and an amperage of 7.06 amps, which is suitable for driving uh, the electrochemical splitting of water. We use the hydroxyl radical, which is generated at the anode surface, to oxidize organic chemical contaminants, thereby purifying water.